Hey guys, Dr. J here. Top five reasons and ways to know that you may be inflamed. First one is blood test. So there's a C-reactive protein that's made by your liver, right? It's called CRP or HSCRP. Anything over one or definitely over two could be a sign that you have inflammation. We can also look at a marker called ESR, erythrocyte sedimentary rate. It's another inflammation marker we can look at. If we have elevated insulin, let's say fasting insulin greater than 10 or 15, that's a great sign that you are gonna have more inflammation in your body. Are your joints achy? Is it painful for you to move? Are your joints swollen outside of you doing some heavy or more intense exercise in the last couple of days? And last but not least, is your brain foggy? Is it harder for you to recall and take in different things and think on the fly and speak on the fly? Is that difficult for you? Right? Brain fog can be a sign of microglial activation in the brain. These are the immune cells in the brain. And these immune cells are gonna be activated when different microbes or toxins or chemicals or even blood sugar uh, fluctuations can go through the blood brain barrier, the astrocytes, and that can impact the brain and it can activate these microglial cells and that can cause you to be a little bit more foggy. And so if that's chronic, we're not talking like, you know, every now and then, I'm talking more chronic and especially from previous years, you can notice a difference. That could be a sign that your brain is inflammation as well. So again, blood testing, HSCRP, erythrocyte sedimentary rate, fasting insulin, uh, we have our joints and we have our brain.